Hi there, and welcome to today's Quentin Carpenter's Nature of Flowers tutorial. Today I'm going to talk you through making a short animation using Photoshop and in particular the timeline. You can see that we have a little animation running behind you. It's made out of a star shape, made out of a tetrahedron, rotated and flipped on top of itself. Um, we can do this with any images, and to do it, we need to convert our layers into frames. Okay, you can see it's running through here. I'm going to talk you through it in real time so you can see how to create your own one. I'll just stop this and I will go to window and I will hide the timeline. So when you are creating an animation, you will need to have a layered image. You can see here I've got many different layers with all the different components I need for my animation. You can make this before you do the animation so you've got all the pieces that you need made so you can see I've got my shapes here etc. Now then, to do this first of all we are going to need to go to window and hit the timeline button. Now I'm going to delete everything from my timeline so that you can see how to do it from scratch. Okay so I'll delete all of that, delete all the frames, and delete those ones as well and I'll just walk you through how to make your own one and I'll delete that one as well. So the first thing you will do when you get here we will close this. So we'll go window and we'll find timeline. It may say create frame animation here in which case we click on that and then we'll get our first slide. We'll then need to convert all our layers here into frames to make our animation. So to do that, we're going to go to select, we go to all layers, like so. We are going to click over here on the little three dots in this menu, and we're going to make all make frames from layers. This one here. Okay. Once we click this, it will duplicate all the images over here and create all the different layers as a frame. So if I played that as an animation now, you can see it would play each individual bit for naught seconds and that would create my stop motion. Now, first thing I'm going to do is slow it down a little bit because it's going a little bit too fast for us to see. So if I right click and click on all of them and I go over to my times and put 0.1 second, I go back to play now, you can see it's a reasonable speed for the animation. Okay, now what I'd like to do is have my animation building up from the base layer to the top layer. So the easiest and quickest way to do that is to select the first layer and then select the last, sorry, frames over here. And then on my layers over here, tick an I next to each layer so that each frame has got all the layers selected on. If I do it this way, it will save us quite a lot of time with the amount of clicking that we'll need to do. So I will make sure that I have got all my layers have been, got their eye next to them, they're all open, and that happens to every frame on my timeline. So if I press play now, absolutely nothing will happen, except for there's one layer where I've obviously missed something out. There's the first layer, or the second layer, I've missed the background out. So if I miss that out on all of them, so I can put that in on all of them. And you can now see I've got an animation that isn't an animation. It's just running through the time and nothing's changing. So if I start on my first frame, I only want to see the first picture. So if I close all the eyes, you'll notice if I do this, on the next layer, it's done it to all of the eyes as well. So it's like a master layer. If I click all the eyes back open on this one, it will do that to the other ones as well. So what I propose is this. We go to the last layer, where we want all of them on. We go back one layer, and we close one eye. So we've taken away one part. So this is the first step of our animation. We're working backwards. We go on the next one. We take away two eyes, and you can see the animation is starting to take shape. So then we take away three, and we're going to do that systematically 
for each layer, making sure we're checking if I've done too many. So we take away the eyes, and we go to the next one, take away the eyes. Just check that we've got that right. I seem to keep missing two. If you do that, just go back, add an eye back in. This time we need to get rid of them. That's perfect. So then I need to take rid of all the eyes, like so. So we've got that layer like that. And then I need to take rid of all the eyes again. It's quite a complex process doing the animations. But as long as you are remembering which layers you are currently on, it's quite straightforward. So we do all the purple bits now. And that layer, and then we just go along here. We've only got a few more to do. So we get rid of these. up the image bit by bit so all of those need to go and there we go and then just double check that's the right I'm taking out the last bit of the layer check on this one and we'll do the same thing Lots of clicking on lots of eyes going on at the moment. Okay, uh, we need to get rid of that layer as well, don't we? So we've just got the cube. And this one, we just get rid of that as well. And we do that all the way up. And then on this one we'll just get rid of the blue everything as well and then we are good to go. And we'll get rid of the dots as well. So we start with a white page. Okay, we're keeping this one as the complete image. So now if I press the play button, we should see our picture appearing before our very eyes and repeating on a perpetual loop. And there we go, that's a little animation. Have fun experimenting with yours. You can watch what's happening on each layer and make sure that on the top layer, 17, I've got all of them shut, so that is perfect. You can change the timings of each individual layer separately. You can do all sorts of things. So we've got on a little loop, so we're basically making a GIF. So then if we go to File, we're going to save as. We're going to look for our Photoshop file. Okay, top, and we're going to click save. And we're going to call it there. Okay, there we go. So, have fun making your own animations. I'll just play it one more time so we can see it running. And obviously you can then put those into a thing like iMovie or Video Shop and you could do some music and all sorts of stuff to it. Have fun making final pieces of animations. Okay, hope you found that useful today. Obviously if you have, pop over the channel, hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I will talk to you about it next time.